Well, we hold the green and gold Norfolk State University men's basketball team found out this evening who they're playing first in the NCAA tournament. Thank you for joining us, everyone. I'm Kayla Gaskins. This comes after the Spartans took home the championship trophy from the MEAC tournament yesterday at Scope. This is the second year in a row the men's team has made it to March Madness. Very impressive. Tonight, they learned who else made the cut for the NCAA tournament, who they're facing, where they're traveling, and who looms in their region. Needless to say, it's a big night for the Spartans. Senator your side's Kara Dixon was in the gym at NSU earlier today with the players as they awaited to hear the news. Kayla, it was nothing but excitement when Norfolk State players and their fans heard that invitation to the big dance. The spotlight is on for the Norfolk State Spartans as they get ready for their back-to-back -back trip to the NCAA tournament. I know we got the power, we got the talent. The team and its fans came together Sunday afternoon to find out where their punch ticket is taking them to play. As soon as they announced that we were going to go to Fort Worth, uh, Texas, I pulled my phone out, tried to track down a flight right then and there. But I really plan to be there to cheer my team on. And that's why this means so much. Their win is a win for the whole school, according to Francis Stewart, who's not only an alumni, but the NSU Athletic Foundation Executive Director. It helps with the recruiting of the athletes, it helps with the recruiting of the students, increase our number of students attending the university. So it is just great exposure that we cannot even pay for, we can't buy. The HBCU has more than 5,400 students, which continues to grow each year as well as its academic programs. Athletic Director Melody Webb says being in the national spotlight also helps to bring in money. Anytime we advance, that's an opportunity to generate additional revenue. So that's always a big thing and always a plus. We're always looking for in our programs to figure out how we generate revenue and how we generate growth. So this opportunity puts us on that map and put us going forward. So great opportunity. A great opportunity they're grateful to share with the community. The MEAG tournament is held in downtown Norfolk each year, which also brings in millions of dollars. The community is very supportive. They come to a lot of events that we have to really make sure that they're a part of it. We always say we're ingrained in the community. We want to be a part of the community, not just the university, um, but a university for the community. In Norfolk, I'm Kara Dixon. 10 on your side.